Hi, this is Ali Arango of ArangoDigitalProduction.com and today I want to show you uh, uh, some pretty quick instructions about something that is unbelievably amazing about Blender and if you are new to it you may not know about it. Uh, typically when you're in a 3D program there are different renderers. Uh, to give you an example, I have this cube right here on the screen, right? Uh, basically this camera is looking at the cube when I hit the O key on my number pad number keypad you know you see that that uh, cube right if I go to uh, if I click render render image this pops up and you see this image of the cube okay all right if I go and I uh, hit one on my numpad pad and wherever I put this cursor a new object will come in when it shift a here a plane and I'm just gonna adjust it so you can see this plane underneath right alright so again if I hit O in the number pad go into my uh, my blender uh, camera view and I hit render image you can see this image popped up. Now one of the things with this image is, is that this image, uh, you see this hard shadow, you know, this cube, it doesn't look real. So you figure, how the heck could you make a cube look cool anyway? I mean, it's a cube. We didn't do anything to it, right? Blender actually, believe it or not, does have the ability to make even a cube look awesome. Don't believe me? Watch this. All right, here's our cube. This is what we're in. We're in something called the Blender Renderer. This is the standard default renderer, and it's how Blender outputs things. It's also how Blender deals with light. Now we're going to go into something called Blender Cycles. You click right here, go to Cycles Render. All right. If you have a NVIDIA card, you can come over here. See this button right here? See how this says CPU? You can turn this to GPU. All right. One of the things I'm going to do for Cycle, if you can see my camera right there. I'm actually going to click this right here, hit Shift A, and bring in a plane. I'm just going to scale this plane up. I'm going to hit this Materials button right here, hit New. See what it says the fuse? I'm going to click this. I'm going to put Emission. Now what this is going to do is make this emit light. All right now I'm going to go back to my camera view, and I'm going to hit Render Image again. see that light right there you see basically what's going on is what cycles does is cycles basically takes light and makes light act like light acts in the real world which you see by light so it's pretty cool and basically it, it, this is a very low grainy version of cycles let me render this one more time so you can see how, how cool this is and the way I can turn up the quality of this is your first time ever messing with uh, cycles uh, I'm actually gonna go here make sure you're clicked on your render button here go to samples and where this says render I'm going to turn that from 10 I'm going to click uh, 200 alright so basically with this by turning this up it's going to the grain that you saw in that image is going to make it's going to get rid of that uh, so I'm going to hit render image again here's my image coming in there's ways to it basically cycles does take a lot of power uh, pretty amazing what it's doing I mean it actually is bouncing the light around making it look like real light and basically the more the higher that samples buttons up the better and more realistic your objects will look uh, and cycles kind of renders in squares there's little things you can do to adapt to make cycles run uh, faster but basically what you have is you have uh, you know this cube sitting here and look at that look at the shadow there I mean but this all I did was I made it plain two planes one plane for light a plane for the bottom and you can see this just imagine this is the most simple thing we have in blender so just imagine what uh, something complicated could look like now one other cool thing I'm going to show you with cycles that's very cool normally in blender you have to see uh, you have to you know render something out to see an example with cycles you don't have to so let me close this window See this corner right here? If I grab this corner and I pull, I create a new window in Blenders in Blender. And then T to take away that panel and N to take away this panel. If I go here to this button here and I click rendered, this actually shows me the camera view inside of Blender. 
Now it rendered very quick. Can you see how that how that grain is there? If I go to that uh, that sample button again right here, see how I have this says render 200 and a preview as 10. Watch what happens when I click this to 200. You'll see these numbers right here jumping up. And basically, what's going on is Blender is basically reducing the noise down. It's cleaning it up, and it'll keep cleaning it up until it hits that 200 number. So if you see like these unbelievably like amazing 3D 3D pictures, I mean, in whatever 3D program, most likely they're using a, a, a renderer like cycles uh, that lets them have realistic lighting. And when you really want to have something look beautiful, you really need uh, something like cycles. So the amazing thing is with Blender, you get this for free, and uh, most other 3D programs you're gonna have to pay a fairly decent amount to have the ability to render uh, realistic lighting like this. I'll just zoom in for you more. So again, this is a cube. You can just imagine how cool it would look with something else. So if you guys didn't know about it, hopefully that gives you just a little teeny bit of insight into it. If you want to know more about this, uh, leave me a comment. And uh, you know, thanks for looking at this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.